Hi, it's Tash from Foxes and Brown Bears Tarot, and today I'm doing my second quarter deck haul. Now, weirdly enough, I thought I was being really good this quarter, but I've had a few Kickstarters, pre-orders, gifts come in, and therefore I've actually got a lot. So I've decided to split it up into a deck haul for Tarot and a deck haul for Oracle. And so, here's the oracle decks i'm going to start with those just for the sake of it so one of the first ones i've bought this quarter was the wisdom of trees oracle and this is by jane stroffers and this is really cool i've been wanting a tree one for a while i do love trees i love parks are my happy place and and i kind of looked at a few different tree ones and this is it this is my tree deck and it's super super cute so it's from memory i think it's about 40 cards or so and the backs are beautiful it is a bit glossy but i don't mind glossy and it just got the most gorgeous gorgeous pictures of trees and I just love this deck so much. It's so, so beautiful and absolutely wonderful. So this is my tree deck and really, really like it. The book's awesome too. It's, it's really cute. It's, it's just got a page on each tree, but it's actually got some really nice information about the importance of the tree to culture and it's also got a uh, upright and reversed meaning and super cute so really like this deck so that's the wisdom of trees oracle another one which i've had on pre-order for quite some time uh, was the sacred forest oracle by denise lynn um, I love Denise Lynn decks. I pretty much buy them all just because they're just so beautiful. They are great. They are so deep. And some of her decks are my favorites. My one, like the Sacred Traveler one. Um, so many of them. I use them a lot. And so this is what happened. So it's a cute little um, deck. Comes like a cute book. So just a little bit of a write up on each one here are the backs it is the new matte cardstock from hay house and the artwork is really beautiful now i haven't used this as much yet but what i have used it for i just got some really nice keywords to really delve into what's going on and for anyone who watches my channel, I do use Tarot and Oracle for personal development and just, just in general. So I, I quite like this. It gets me to think about what's actually going on in my mind quite nicely. And particularly with mental blocks, I find that this works quite well. So beautiful, beautiful deck. The other thing is you can also access meditations um, with the code that comes with the deck. So which is kind of cool. I haven't done that yet, but I plan to because I use a lot of Denise Lynn's decks for meditation in any case. So I'm sure I'll enjoy those. All right. Another deck that I got that this was actually a gift. My mum bought me this one. It's the Priestess of Light Oracle. And this is by Sandra Ann Taylor, Kimberly Weber. Once again, a Hay House. And once again, the standard little Hay House book. And this is beautiful. I really like this one. Look how gorgeous the box is. And these are the backs. And once again, that new matte cardstock uh, that Hay House is now doing. And the artwork is just gorgeous on this. Absolutely beautiful. And the keywords are great as well, particularly the little keywords and the write-ups in the books in the book are just so well done. 
and I really like this one quite a lot. It's yeah, just got a real feel about it and I've really enjoyed it. It's quite different from other decks that I have. Um, I don't know, it just seems to... I haven't, I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to use it yet, but I've just pulled it for some daily draws and it's been really good. It's, it's been, I think, um, whilst the other one has been more mental, I find this one probably speaks more to emotion. So that's probably something that I'm going to use it for. All right. Another one that I bought that I'd seen for quite some time on people's channels and I didn't get because I'm not very into like astrology type stuff. Yeah, it's just not my thing. And but this is actually quite different when I looked into it and it's the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Uh, this is by Rockpool and oh my gosh, I love this one so much. It's these are the backs. It is quite glossy. It's your standard rock pool glossy. Um, they do stick together a little bit, so it's a sticky glossy. But because I use them for one card pools, I don't mind too much. And I don't use this for the moon cycles, but I do love the keywords on this. I find them just really straightforward and once again fabulous for personal developments. Um, I pull them as a daily draw and it will give me a lot of information about the things I might want to work on with myself, maybe things that I'm not aware of that I needed to maybe work with and maybe some goals for the day and yeah, just trying to develop myself a little more. So beautiful artwork though. I really like this one a lot. So that's gorgeous. So that's the Queen of the Moon Oracle. People have seen this. It's been around for quite some time, I believe. All right, um, another one that I got, and I can't find the box. I don't know where I've put it, but I did do a, re a review of this deck. Um, it's a little Forest Fae deck. So um, these are one of those cute little rock pool ones. And I do have a whole review on my channel. So if you do want to check that out uh, please do so I love this one the the wording on it is just so beautiful and I pull one of these a day and it just becomes my little affirmation for the day um, I really like it so like be brave you know and you know let go all things are possible and and they're beautiful and the artwork's gorgeous and I really, really like this one. Yes, so that's the Forest Fae. Um, another one that's come in, which was actually a Kickstarter, uh, was the Cosma Visions Oracle. And so, I mean, it is called an Oracle, even though it has a bit of a tarot setup. So it's my first Kickstarter, so I'm very, very excited to get this one. Um, and this is by James R. Eads and it is so beautiful and i have to admit i haven't used it yet mainly because i'm a little overwhelmed about how to use it but it is so beautiful and these are the booklets it's got a little booklet that comes with it um, it's got great like black holographic edging um, these are the backs and yes the artwork is just spectacular on this one absolutely spectacular and so this is on my list to do some serious work with because it is just so beautiful to look at and so very happy to have got this one in um, i did order it last year as i did with the sacred forest as well and yes so beautiful beautiful oracle um, I've also bought the large guidebook and so half the guidebook is the Prisma Visions tarot and you also have half of it is about the particular oracle 
and this is just gorgeous so it's actually got some really nice information on there so yes and it came a little bookmark and a postcard and drop shopped in there so yes so that's that um and the final one i got that's sort of oracle is the uncover your past lives oracle um i saw this on shuffle tarot it's a channel and i just thought it was just so different and i don't know how i'm going to use it i haven't used it yet but the artwork's so beautiful um it's also a gorgeous round deck and i don't have any round decks and so it's got this beautiful edging and yeah it's just so beautiful and just gorgeous gorgeous artwork and i don't know i just really like it and depending on how you pull it you can there's multiple ways of reading this and the book explains it quite nicely and so on the backs you have all of these different categories um and and then on the front you have a particular theme with different elements to it so it's a really beautiful deck that i probably need to really work with um i think it's it's absolutely gorgeous i really really do like it and so i'll show you some of the other different backs um yeah and once again there you go injustice where you could be the victim or the perpetrator um or injustice overturn or payback or revenge so it's just the different aspects of that particular theme and what's great about this one as well is it comes with this gorgeous book. Well, you've got to order the book. Um, but since this was a very different oracle, I decided to buy the book. So this is by Mandy Peterson, the deck. And the book actually goes through how to read them in multiple ways. She does give you a lot of suggestions. And, and then for each card, there is quite a lot of information as well so this is one that i'm going to really delve into this year as well so they are my oracle decks that i have bought in the second quarter of 2021 so thank you for watching and there will be a tarot deck haul coming up probably tomorrow all right stay tuned bye